Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us again today. Today, we're going to talk about another SANS ICS security brief. And today's briefing is going to be really talking about asset and inventory or asset identification, why it's so important, and the four main methodologies of how to get there. All right, so let's dive right in. We'll talk a little bit about the criticality of it before we talk about those four main methodologies. And we know, of course, it's cliche to say you cannot protect what you don't know you have, right? Uh, but it's absolutely true. So let's dive into why that's true. Also, at the same time, explore why it's a best practice, why it's the basis of what we should have today built in to our security program in ICS. It's actually a prerequisite for things like proactive defense that allows us to make changes to our ICS to make it less habitable for the adversary to reduce incidents in the first place, get ahead of the inf incidents to make sure those don't happen. We can actually do this by leveraging threat intelligence once we have a formal ICS inventory in place. Threat intelligence melded together with the inventory gives us an identity of the risk surfaces that we have. So identifying which assets may be vulnerable and prioritizing based on what is exploitable in the network as you kind of go through. So this is some of the things why it's important, but how do we get there? So there are four main methodologies and here they are. Physical inspection, there are configuration analysis, there's active scanning, and also passive network or traffic capture analysis as well. Now we're going to start off here with one of my favorites, which is number one. This is passive uh, traffic capture. So think PCAPs or live capture passively in the industrial control environment where you're actively looking at the network, but you're not being intrusive to the network. So passive tra traffic capture is non-intrusive to industrial control systems. It can be very, very quick and also can output uh, different types of network diagrams based on those captures or PCAPs that you will have in your environment. Several tools out there that are paid for and also non-paid for tools can give you that physical visualization of your network in a digital form, which you can print out and also use for things like troubleshooting for engineering, but also things like incident response as well, knowing where the assets are and where the potential compromise is and what the potential impact is as well. So it's some pros and cons there for the first one, passive traffic capture. If we go to configuration analysis, this is a very different approach and it has its own set of pros and cons. In this case here, it can reveal things like the pairing of IP addresses to MAC addresses. So looking at the configurations of asset on your network. You can get some of this information already that's available from things like ARP tables in your environment, from switches that you have in your control system. As far as you can go down in the industrial control system, the better it is to get that pairing to understand what assets are in use from an industrial perspective. Another area are the firewalls, of course. Looking at the access control list or ACLs can identify the things that are actually denied access or allowed access and communicating on the network. In some cases, you may only get that it is allowed traffic or denied traffic. In some cases, you may get things like the protocol they're speaking as well, the industrial protocol. And so in, in addition to this, you have to go to each asset in many cases to identify this information. So it can be time consuming and you may not get everything you're looking for, all of the detailed asset information that you can get from other methods we'll discuss. If we take a look at active scanning as the third of the four types of methodologies to do asset identification and inventory, active scanning is very, very fast and it's extremely detailed as well. However, there are some things you want to be careful of with using different tools that can automate your, <clears throat> excuse me, automate your asset inventory. It's fast, it gives you a lot of detail, but it's intrusive to operations in the industrial environment. That means scanning will en enable the, um, uh, the tools will enable scanning. That means it's going to be putting packets and information on the network and such it will actually potentially disrupt some of the legitimate traffic and control system traffic already on the network. So you need to be really, really cautious about using active scanning tools or any methods as well, which are paid for or freely available tools. It's highly recommended any active scanning in industrial control environments, no matter what sector you're in, be tested, of course, in a development environment first. 
beyond that, this is probably my favorite because there's so many benefits to it. However, there are some cons to it as well, such as the world. In physical inspection, we have you folks getting physically to site. That means getting to site and, and talking with engineers there and walking through the facilities, walking through the locations and racks and literally documenting what assets you have in there. That would include things like the make and model of a device, like a PLC, an RTU, a meter, et cetera, a protection control release as an example as well. Documenting that information, the firmware that it's actually on, the protocols it's using, and what it's used for to support operations. All of these things can be documented by physically going to site, looking rack by rack and documenting that out. Now, getting to site has other benefits as well because you're gonna be interacting with and building strong relationships with engineering folks, safety folks on site as well. And you'll need those folks to be part of your kind of initiative for safety and reliability of operations and how your security program can support that. So always great, great to get to site. However, getting to site can be time consuming depending on the size of your organization and the remote sites that you may have. Time consuming is one, it could be expensive to travel to these sites as well. And the other aspects, you have to be cognizant of the risks associated with this. This means entering most sites like this, you have to have things like your protective equipment on your PPE. Likely as well, you'll have to have some kind of physical safety training completed before you enter the site. Okay, so to recap today's SANS ICS security brief, we have those four main methodologies to do asset inventory in your ICS. We have physical inspection, passive traffic capture, active scanning and configuration analysis. Now with the pros and cons exist there, it's up to you to decide what works for you and your security and safety teams and know as well that you can combine these together to get more accuracy and kind of balance the cost and initiative as you kind of move forward. So I would do want to thank you for your time today. My name is Dean Parsons and I, I'm a certified SANS instructor. I teach ICS 515 and the new ICS 418 as well. ICS Defense is totally doable. I'm hoping to see you in class soon.